Today I'm going to show you how to roll over covered call options for the best possible cash flow and profit. I am Randy Perez. I'm a 21 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. If you're already a member of our community, thank you for setting aside a part of your day to be here. If you're not already a member of this community, go ahead and click the subscribe button and bell notification. You will be joining a community of traders and investors that are helping each other become more knowledgeable and profitable. Let's now take a look at how to handle situations where the covered call option you sold is at the money around option expiration day. Here you see my current position in Lazard, ticker symbol LAZ. Let's focus on the covered call portion of my position here. I was assigned 400 shares of Lazard several months ago in May at the $40 per share price. The stock price has come down some, but that doesn't really bother me any. I really like the company and I'd like to own it for the long term if possible. But I want to do better than just the current 6% dividend. So we've been selling covered calls against our position here. And as you can see here on the hourly chart, the short call that we have sold in Lazard that expired on the third Friday of August at $31 strike price was at the money on option expiration day. I did not want to risk the stock being caught away from me, so I had a roll order sitting out there to buy to close the $31 strike call option and sell to open the third Friday of September $32 call option. The reason I rolled that short strike price up is because I really feel like Lazard may continue to increase in price. We really don't know what's going to happen with it, but my gut tells me that there's a good chance that it could increase in price, and this is a stock that I want to own for the long term if it's possible. Here you see the trade that we did. We were able to buy to close the August 21st $31 call option for three cents and simultaneously sold to open the September 18th $30 call option for 65 cents. That means we pocketed the difference or 62 cents per share. If we were able to do a similar trade every month for the next 11 months, then we'd expect to pocket about $7.44 per share. That's good enough for an 18.6% annualized return. Remember, because we like trading dividend stocks, we're also collecting a dividend on this company. As a matter of fact, as you can see on the screen, we just collected the dividends for Lazard on the same date, August 21st. It paid us $188 for our 400 shares. When you add in that dividend, if we were able to do a similar trade here at 62 cents per share every month for the next 11 months, we'll be able to pocket $9 and 32 cents per share for the year. When you divide that by our $40 cost per share, that gives us a 23.3% annualized return. Now, I don't expect to be able to get that type of option premium every month, but it just shows you the power of using a covered call option strategy. We were able to roll our strike price up by a dollar and still get a 23% annualized return. That's awesome. The lesson here is that if you think your stock has the potential to increase in price and you don't want it to be caught away from you, go ahead and put an order out there to roll your option up. And of course, we always want to try and do that for a credit. Next, we're going to talk through the process of rolling deep in the money covered calls. But if you're liking the video, why don't you do me a favor and tap the thumbs up button. It helps support the channel and it means a lot to me. Let's now talk about rolling deep in the money covered call options. If you've been trading covered calls for any amount of time, at some point, a stock is probably going to surprise you and move way past the short strike price call option that you sold. It's actually probably a good thing because it means you picked a stock that's performing well. But for a covered call option trader, if you're hoping to keep the stock, it isn't really what we want to have happen. So how do we handle this scenario? Of course, if you're fine having the stock called away from you, you can just let that happen. Personally, if I've been assigned a stock, I would like to try my best to keep it. I generally try to trade in stocks that continue to increase their dividend at a nice pace, and so I like to benefit from that increasing dividend every year if possible. As you can see here on the screen, in my portfolio tab for FedEx, 100 shares of FedEx have been put into my account because of the put options I've been selling. This happened almost a year ago in last October where the white circle is on the far left of the chart. It was put into my account at $160 per share. For a while, FedEx cooperated with us as it traded virtually sideways for about five months. Then all of a sudden, back in March, like a lot of stocks, it crashed down to $90 per share. Since then, it's been gaining ground until in July, it decided to take off like a rocket. If possible, I'd really like to hang on to FedEx. 
I like the company, and with e-commerce really taking off, I think it's a company that will do well in the future. I'd been selling the $40 call options for several months back in April, May, and June, but after the stock jumped way up in July, I wanted to try and benefit from some of that move and also try to prevent the stock from being called away from me. Notice on the screen the trade that I did. On July 7th, we bought to close the $140 covered call option that was expiring on the 17th. It cost us $18.83 per share to buy it back. Notice what we did next. We had to go out three months to the third Friday of October, but we were able to sell the October $145 strike call option for $20.86. Here's what we've accomplished. We've rolled our strike price up $5 and still pocketed $2.03 per share. The reason we were able to do this is because we went out three months in time. This is one way I like to handle covered call positions that are deep in the money. I still would ideally like to continue owning the stock and collecting the dividend, and one way to try and help us do this is by going out in time to sell the next call option. Use the credit from selling that new higher strike price call option to buy back the call option that's expiring in the current month. Roll the strike price up and still pocket some cash. We still have about a month and a half or so before this option expires, so we'll just see how it goes. The stock is going ex-dividend next week, so there's always a possibility that it's called away from us before that happens. But either way, I'm glad we rolled this option up $5 and were able to pocket nice cash when we did that. If you'd like some more information on our exact trades, consider the benefits of becoming a patron in the description in the link below. Check out the videos in the link above and the description below where I share with you my top secrets and tips on how to trade options like a pro. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.